Memphis police say a man looking for a forever friend decided instead of adopting a pet, he would instead commit a crime and steal one. That's horrible. Why would you steal a dog when you can come and adopt? According to Memphis police, earlier this month, the man you see in this photo entered the Petland store in the Wolf Chase area and asked to see a Doberman Pinscher puppy. He then made a run for it with the dog wagging between his legs as he left in a white SUV. I feel like if you're doing that, are you going to take care of the dog? Or are you going to do something illegal with the dog? Fights or something? It just make you feel sorry for the animals that have to go through that. That's pretty horrible because when you have a pet, it's like a, a child at that point. You know, it's like a member of the family. Katie Pemberton with Memphis Animal Services sent us a statement reading. It is unfortunate that anyone feels the need to steal a pet when there are hundreds of pets waiting for homes in our local shelters and rescues. Yeah, that, that seems like the easier route just to go there and get the dog the same same kind of dog for like $100. So, yeah, that is pretty pretty bad. He just ran off with it. Petland, the store the dog was stolen from, has been mirrored in controversy ever since it was announced they were coming to Memphis. There was even a petition to keep it from opening. The Humane Society of the United States says Petland is the only national pet store chain in the country that still sells dogs and cats. Animal activist says the company has a history of getting animals from puppy mills and mistreating them. Petland denied the claim in a statement, writing in part, Petland's number one priority has always been the health and welfare of its pets. They went on to say Petland does not buy from puppy mills, which are unregulated, unlicensed facilities. The store tells Memphis police the dog that was stolen was valued at $5,500. Memphis Animal Services says that they are currently offering $25 adoption fees for all pets the rest of July. In Wolf Chase, Marcus Hunter, WREG News Channel 3. As we said, they're still looking for the man who took the animal. Anyone with information should call Crime Stoppers. That number is 528-CASH.